All right, folks. Well, pretty incredible rally today, no doubt about it. But it ran up on nothing. This is a totally euphoric rally. Uh, and this is exactly the same thing that we saw in these crazy sell-offs all this year. The sell-offs that I told you to buy. Now, at the moment that those sell-offs were happening, they did not look like buys. It was very scary to go in and buy. And in a few cases, I bought way too early. But every single one of those sell-offs, uh, my buying turned out to be correct. And I will tell you that the same thing is going to happen here. This is running up on nothing. As a matter of fact, if you look around at the markets today, you see oil was down 2%. You see copper was down almost 2%. Nickel was down almost uh, that much. Zinc, uh, tin, lead, all these industrial metals were down. Uh, coffee was down. Cotton was down. Lumber was down. Um, what else? The dollar was down. Natural gas was down. If this is some kind of an economic boom, I mean, the only thing I could find out there to kind of um, explain this rally is, you know, people getting all hyped up about Trump and then the, what he's going to do. Again, we do not know what he is going to do. He's probably going to try to put through a big tax cut. But if that tax cut is offset, offset by spending cuts, then you're going nowhere. You're spinning your wheels, okay? Or one sector of the economy benefits. Certainly, it looks like the defense sector is going to benefit. However, I looked at those defense stocks. It's not only that they're up very high in price and they've had extended rallies over the last two years. Uh, their valuations are not that attractive. I'm sorry. Now I'm going to tell you something. There is going to come a time, just like I told you in the past when I said there's going to come a time when everybody's going to be jumping in and I'm going to be selling. Okay, and we're seeing that happening. I have never led you wrong. Okay, everything I have told you has been correct. Maybe sometimes a little bit early, but everything I have told you has been correct. And not only that, every single closed out trade that I ever put on here has been a profit. But there will come a time. When there will be so many stocks at so such incredible valuations that you won't even have enough money to buy them all. And you want all of them. Believe me, you cannot find that right now. If you want to overpay, if you want to pay high valuations, if you want to play the momentum game, which uh, I equate to musical chairs. You know that kid's game? Music plays, you go round and round when the music stops. You know, there's a chair for everybody except one person. It's going to be the same thing. We don't know when the music's going to stop. But I'm going to be there with my bushel basket. And I'm telling you, when that happens, there's going to be stocks all over the place lying there in front of people. They're not going to want them. They're going to be so cheap and so attractive. Now is not the time. Now, I'm not saying the market's stopped, you know, and it's never going to go up again. The market always goes higher. I told you that. The market is a growth function. It is a growth function. Over time, it always goes up because it reflects the, uh, the expansion of, of profits, uh, the growth in income, the growth in population, in family formations, and all these things, in innovation, in technology, in productivity. It's a growth function. You could never you know, expect the market to go down and stay down. Over time, it always goes up. So yeah, you know, pick a number. 25,000, yeah, we'll hit it on the Dow one day. 30,000, yeah, we'll hit that on the Dow. 36,000, remember that book uh, back in 1999, Dow 36,000? We'll hit that too one day. But right now, even though I own a lot of stocks and I've been selling out um, selectively the ones that have reached my valuations, I am short the S&P and I sold another unit of S&P earlier today, as I mentioned, at, uh, I think it was uh, 2231. So even that, I mean, I think we're settling here around 22, 37, 38. Um, and again, the flows. It's all about the flows, folks. It's all about the flows, and the flows are weak. I told you last year at the same time, we were already 30 billion over the prior year. Now we're what? 100 million, 200 million? That's, you know, in fiscal language, that's nothing. That is nothing. So zero growth in spending, 
And then I said the, uh, I mentioned that the um, the trade deficit ye yesterday came in a lot larger than, uh, what was that, October, so a lot bigger than September. So that already casts a little bit of uh, doubt on the growth pace of the fourth quarter. So just saying. So everybody's jumping in on Trump. They sold the market down 800 points the night of the election because, oh, Trump is gaining on Hillary. Now all of a sudden he's the greatest thing going. Okay, And you see the same people who got it all wrong. They're jumping in here now. Anyway, that's my update for now. Let's see what happens. All right, bye.